Paul George knocked down the go ahead three pointer with less than 30 seconds left to play for the Clippers last night. Jalen, tell the people about these clips, please. Paul George was third in the MVP race last year, and he picked up right where he left off against his former squad. You always get an extra bit of juice when you play against your former team. And he's been dynamic since his return hitting a big time game winning three pointer. Let's talk about the young guns. Luka Doncic. How about this joining LeBron James as the only players in NBA history to record 40 point triple doubles before turning 21. He was obviously rookie of the year last year Jalen but what's he doing differently for his encore. I love his confidence. I love the fact that six seven playing point guard. He wears number 77 which is really odd but yet he continues to get his teammates involved. He rebounds the basketball gives up good shots to get great shots. He has terrific court presence, and he's only 20 years old, L. Sky's the limit it, for that it, young It man. really is. They're a very fun watch, but let's be real. In Texas, it's all about Houston. Rockets dominated the Blazers 132 to 108 for their eighth straight win. James Harden scored 36 in 33 minutes, while Russell Westbrook added a triple-double. Westbrook was asked to describe the run that Harden has been on lately post-game. Listen in. Amazing. I think that a lot of people like to normalize greatness when you see it over and over again, but it's not normal because there's nobody else that could do it. If it was normal, everybody would do it. Um, he's put himself in position to be able to uh, be one of the best offensive scorers of all time. I want to, to, to bring up his point there. Do you think that fans appreciate, fans, pundits, the media, whoever, analysts, appreciate what we are witnessing from James Harden. Absolutely, I think fans appreciate it and media appreciates it. This is why the last handful of seasons, James Harden has been top three basically in the MVP conversation. And what is so dynamic about him, L, is I've called him the most unique scorer in the history of the NBA. Here's what I mean by that. He's led the league in total threes made, total free throws made, in assists, and in total points. No other player at any point of their careers will be able to say that. That's how dynamic James Harden is. And he keeps on coming. He's not always efficient, but he's aggressive. He'll take 15 or 23 point shots in the game, whether he's making two or three, or whether he's making 10. And so that level of aggression, I'm telling you, he's gonna have a night when he actually gets on fire. And he, so has he hasn't been, and he hasn't been? He, I'm, I'm gonna say this, he gonna have a 90 point game this year. Stop it. He is. Stop. It. I know right, it sounds crazy. Ahead. Stop. He, it. Go, he goes for it every night. We showing him score 46 points. You know what I do as I cover basketball? I look deeper into the box score. Okay. He also takes 40 shots. Sure. He also takes 23s. At some point, he's going to start making them. James Harden's going to score 90 points in a game this year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.